everybody it's rich and i'm just here to show you i just created today a new hot wire foam cutter with my guitar string an e string they use uh night chrome wire but uh i also learned that you can use a guitar string if you have the right power um and the biggest challenge was trying to find the correct power supply so i almost bought one online when i realized that i had a battery charger so i started checking out my battery charger and I found out that it has a hot wire foam cutter mode. And even if it doesn't have the hot wire foam cutter mode, you can still choose um, a digital, you know, output for power. As you, you, know, you can choose your own amps, choose your own voltage, uh, and just let it rip. Um, but this one, it kind of keeps t uh, an eye on the temperature. So if it overheats, it'll it'll shut off automatically, which is kind of nice. So no mistakes, no accidents. So anyway, um, I got mine set to 7 amps, 4 volts for my wire, and uh, let's see how that works. It's on. There you go. Nice little accurate cuts. Works really good. As long as you go slow. Um, don't try to bend the wire too much. It will cut real nice. Look at that. Amazing. But anyway, and I made it so it's modular, so this this handle, excuse me, this handle will come out. Now I got a handheld. Ah. There it goes. Anyway. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'll put that back in there. And then go back to cutting. Uh, I love it. So after watching a dozen videos of how to make a wire cutter, um, I kind of put a bunch of things together. But the only thing that I came up with on my own was the light bulb charger or the battery charger. Perfect, perfect device for your hot foam wire cutter. Thanks for watching.